If you thought you had an interesting weekend, we can say we think Eric may have you beat. He spent the past few days with exclusive access to the billionaire and power broker Prince Alouid bin Talal. Eric is joining us now on the phone from Riyadh. Eric. Deirdre, can you hear me? Yes, certainly can. How was the weekend? Deirdre. You are absolutely right. We have just spent two extraordinary days with Prince Al Walid. Uh, we have been given some exclusive access, as you heard last week, uh, to the prince's corporate empire, his private life. Um, speaking of private life, there is nothing, as you probably know, quite so private as having your own palace. I toured. Prince Al-Walid's palace yesterday. Uh, I, in fact, it's probably more accurate to say that I tried to tour the palace because I spent an entire afternoon there. We're talking about some four hours and only saw half of the 400 or so rooms. This place, you're seeing it right now, is built on a scale to fit Prince Al-Walid's profile in Riyadh and Saudi Arabia. That profile uh, is not just comes from a lifestyle like this, but it mostly comes from his business and investments. Uh, I sat in yesterday, for example, on a meeting that he held with his media company, Rotana, where they talked about branding and strategy. It was parallel with this issue of going uh, into IPO. An IPO will, uh, will, uh, will be happening uh, in the coming two, two years. So we need to brand the company very well before going into IPO. You can hear a little bit of news being made by the prince right there. He's talking about an IPO for Rotana in the next one or two years. This is the media company that Kingdom Holding owns and in which News Corp, of course, Rupert Murdoch's News Corp, bought a 9.1 percent stake for $70 million earlier this year, valuing it at slightly north of $700 million. Now, uh, the prince knows that media equals influence and influence equals power, perhaps more power than, than can be conferred on him by wealth alone. And as a result, he's considering an all area Arabic news channel to compete with Al Arabiya and Al Jazeera. Eric, we look forward to hearing more from you. Eric Shasker reporting there live from Saudi Arabia.